Welcome to this Alan Talks Tech video. If you'd like additional information on my technology videos, please visit my wiki at alantesswiki.pbworks.com. So exactly what is CRAN? Well, CRAN is an acronym for Centralized or Cloud Radio Access Networking. It's basically a new implementation of the e -Node B, which will hopefully significantly reduce costs and make the system much more efficient. If we take a look at a typical e -Node B today, we have a baseband unit and a router. The router provides connectivity to the other e -Node Bs in the area. And at the top of the system, we have the remote radio head end, the transceiver and the antenna. And the two systems, the BBU and the RRH, are basically interconnected using a SIPRI interface or common public radio interface. Typically, the range of this interface is about 60 meters. And all of these systems are fed back into the MSC or the Mobile Switching Center. So what's going to change? Well, first of all, we're going to take all of those BBUs and we're going to move them into the MSC or the central office or super macro site. And we'll also remove all of those routers as well from each one of those e -node Bs. So this is going to greatly rationalize the system and help reduce costs. Of course, we'll have to provide connectivity from the BBU to each one of those e -node Bs, and that'll be achieved again uh, using a CIPRI interface. But this time we'll be using dark fiber and we'll extend the range of the CIPRI interface up to 15 or even possibly 20 kilometers. Also in the BBU hotel, as it's sometimes going to be called, we'll provide a router to provide interconnection so each one of the e-node Bs can be reached via the router. That router will also provide connectivity to the EPC or the Evolve Packet Core using a well-defined S1 interface. But it doesn't stop there and this is where the cloud part of CRAN comes into play. So if you take a look at the diagram, it looks like we have um, a series of BBUs interconnected to a router. Each one of these BBUs would typically be a separate standalone physical device. And of course, a router would also be a separate physical standalone device. But in the new configuration, we're going to virtualize all of those BBUs. We'll use a common off-the-shelf server, an x86 base platform with a hypervisor, which in turn has multiple virtual machines running on top, each one of those virtual machines with the appropriate operating system to support a BBU. Multiple BBUs, depending on the power of the x86 platform, may be supported along with a router, a virtual router, which could be based on an SDN architecture or a software-defined networking architecture. This is going to greatly reduce the complexity of the platform. We'll have a much less complex platform. It's going to be much more efficient in terms of power and CPU utilization. And, is, and of course, very importantly, it's going to be much lower cost. And moving into the future where we're going to see many e Bs de deployed to support this new 5G technology, this is going to be of uh, great importance. Thank you for watching this Alan Talks Tech video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to get more information on my technology videos with additional material, you can visit my wiki at alantesswiki.com. Pbworks.com. Once again, thanks for viewing.